Greetings, everyone. Today we gather for the 105th anniversary of the end of one of the deadliest conflicts in the history of the world, World War I. The war raged from July 28, 1914 to November 11th of 1918. It had been nicknamed the War to End All Wars and the Great War. The war started a month after a Bosnian Serb named Gavrilo Princip assassinated Archduke Franz Ferdinand of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. The Austro-Hungarian Empire invaded Serbia in response to Archduke Franz Ferdinand's assassination. Russia later declared war on Austro-Hungary, but Austro-Hungary was backed by their neighboring ally, Germany. Germany then invaded Belgium, Luxembourg, and France. Before long, war had broken out all over Europe, Africa, the Pacific, and the Middle East. In the first year of the war, millions of soldiers from the British Empire, France, Lu the Russian Empire, Serbia, Belgium, Japan, Montenegro, and Luxembourg volunteered to fight against the German Empire, Austria-Hungary, and the Ottoman Turkish Empire. The majority of battles were fought in trenches, which were riddled with rats. Whenever it rained, the trenches got muddy, which increased the spread of, whole, of terrible diseases. <clears throat> in 1915, Italy officially joined in on the side of the Allies, with Bulgaria joining the Central Powers that the same year. In 1916, the Portuguese Republic declared war against the Central Powers. In June, the Kingdom of Hejaz broke away from the Ottoman Empire and joined the Allied forces. Later that year, the Kingdom of Romania joined the war on the side of the Allies, but unfortunately, they were not successful against Germany and its allies. In March of 1917, the Russian Empire officially dropped out of the war after suffering a humiliating defeat. In that same year, the United States of America, Greece, China, Siam, and Brazil all declared war against the Central Powers. In October, the Bolshevik Party, led by Russian revolutionary Vladimir Lenin, stormed Petrograd, and after a bloody civil war, they had established the world's first communist regime. Eventually, on November 11th of 1918, the Central Powers surrendered to the Allies. At the Paris Peace, Paris Peace Conference, Germany was blamed for starting the war and had to pay for all the damage. All of Germany's overseas colonies had been annexed by other imperial powers and Kaiser Wilhelm II was forced to abdicate his throne. As a result of the war, great empires collapsed and new countries formed. When the war was over, 16 million 543,185 people had been killed. Many veterans suffered from PTSD caused by distressing memories of war and some even committed suicide. May God bless all of the soldiers, sailors, and pilots who fought and died in this war regardless of their faction.